How's everyone doing out there today, huh? Huh? You doing all right? Ready for some truck driving here in Europe? We're playing a little bit of Euro Truck Simulator. Let's get this thing fired up here. Look at that bad boy. Is she pretty? It's nice. It's got a fancy paint job on it. Hooked up to a little flatbed with a container slapped on there. Right, what's up, Nate Tron? We got Steve Loner, Cody Landon, Mr. Steerman with that resub with the level three. Thank you very much, sir. What's up, John and Tom and Duan? Brian Shryock in the house. Kevin Wilson, Jason Holman, Brandon Olmstead, Kendall Yoder. Says, well, hitty ho, it's a truck and we shall go. What's up, Bradley Simmons? How are you? Miss Fire Slain in the house. Timothy Boyd, Bundy Garcia, and Remy Dorn. Jeremy, how are you? Hope everyone's doing well. What's up, Eddie London? Channing Hensley's in the house. Um, yeah. I just had the itch. I've been having the itch to play Euro Truck Simulator, so we're finally going to play a little bit here. Yeah, I got a nice little container hooked on. We do have Rex riding shotgun tonight. There's old Rex looking, looking very royal. He looks like he's the one in charge. Got our nice uh, Scania interior. Got our coffee cup, our aviators, our wallet. Cooler, a little bit of bedding back here. That thing lights up at night, pretty cool. It's about like 6 p.m. in the game, so it will start getting dark soon. But yeah, just a sharp looking rad, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we got Nick DeBar coming in with the massive $20 super chat. It says, good evening, sir Frosty. It's Nick DeBar with the $20 lag bomb. Thank you very much. What's up, Nick? Thank you very much, sir. Uh, Bradley Patterson also dropping the $2 Super Chats. It's frosty time. Thank you, Mr. Patterson. Uh, my dog's called Rex. Is it, Tom? Yeah, we always have Rex in here. Well, we try to. All right, let's fire this thing up. It's about 82 degrees out. About 6.21 p.m. in the game. Maybe we'll crack the windows just a hair. Just in case Rex has any stinkers. Just in case it has a stinker, eh? Alright, let's get our little lights on. We'll do our daytime lights here. Get our flashers on. Check out our horn. Alright. Check these uh, trailer lights here. Looking good. Marker lights looking good on the back of the tractor. We got the sequential blinkers and turn signals. Love those things. Check our high beams out. High beams are working. Horns looking splendid as well. All right, I think we're pretty much good to go. Let me check my drop axle here. for the trailer and we also have a axle for the truck itself right here but we'll I was just testing it out it works we'll drop it back down since we're loaded up here all right flashers up all right you're lagging <laughs> you just get <laughs> uh wreck free champs is nick to bar what's up nick uh hi adam small nice to see rex is back in the truck tonight uh, let's get out of town, says Mouse. Yes, we are. We're sitting in Madgeburg. Here's a look at the map. So we're sitting right here in Germany. And we're going to run down the E30. We're going to head west over to Hanover. And uh, that'll be our first delivery. Just a short little drive. And here's your uh, load information. Right there. We got a load of used plastics. Seven ton heading to Hanover. DP Schinker is where it's getting delivered. And yeah, it's only seven ton. Nice light load. You know what? It's only seven ton. It's only seven ton. Let's, uh, let's actually drive with those uh, lifts up on the trailer and the truck. That's like a super light load. All right, I think we're good to go. 
Ah, what's up, Duan? I said hello to you long time ago. Right at the beginning, actually. You got a head cold. Not feeling good. Ah, I hope you feel better, buddy. Hey, you don't need to watch. Why don't you go lay down, take a nap there, Duan? I hope you feel better, buddy. Get on, get on out of here. You don't have to worry about it. We got, we got enough manpower to moderate. I have one more week of studying my CDL for school bus. Ooh, Jeremy, very nice. Very nice, laddie. All right, off we go. All right, let's see. Yeah. All right. Love the sound of my truck. She sounds good. Uh, hi, Frost. What's up, Marvin right. and Matthew Lawrence, Jordan Kinney in the house. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Hope everybody's doing splendid. Sorry about yesterday. We had some uh, big issues with uh, Call of the Wild, the Angler. I'm, I might not be able to stream that if it doesn't run smooth. We've had issues with it two different times, so I don't know. I don't know. Not good. I know that much. Not good. Uh, we got Mr. Vanderford also dropping the $20 super chat as well. So stopping by to say hello, Frosting Chat. Hope everyone is having a great day. That's Mr. Justin Vanderford with the massive super chat. Thank you so much, Mr. Vanderford. Thank you, Justin. I appreciate you, buddy. And that is a lag bomb. That's normal lag. I need to just get rid of that. It just lags. <laughs> What kind of shifter is that? That is the uh, Southern Trucker Gaming Shifter. STG Shifter. <clears throat> I've had it for going on three years now. Yep. Yeah, about three years we've had that bad boy. Oh, don't worry about that. Signs don't count. Uh, how was your weekend and that past frosty? Weekend was good. My little trip went very well. Got to hang out with Granny. It was a good time. All right, off we go. Uh, Bradley Simmons also coming in with the $5 Super Chat. So sorry for picking this game, but thanks for playing. Oh, I love this game, Bradley. You don't have to say sorry one bit. I love Euro Truck. Did you know, here's a little fact. I have more hours on Euro Truck Simulator than I do American Truck Simulator. Yeah, I love this game. What's up, Joe Boyer? How are you? Let's see if we can uh, get past this guy real quick. Got that big engine. Here's our exit ramp. Turn right. What was that noise? Boop, boop. That was a weird little noise. I've never heard that before in the game. I'm using a couple mods I've never used before. Maybe it's part of that sequential turn signals mod. I don't know. Never heard that sound. Truck is sounding good tonight. It's pretty nice, isn't it, Dustin? Sounds real nice. Very nice. All right, this is a contract load, so it's only going to let us go 56 miles an hour. So we are going to set the cruise control and just kind of enjoy the ride. We've got Rex riding shotgun with us, just chilling out here. And just follow the signs for Hanover. About 74 miles away. What's up, Dan? Austin Walls in the house. What's up, Austin? I like it better than ATS. I got this on sale last week. Oh, yeah. I think last week it was on sale for, what, $5? I think both games were on sale for $4.99. They do that all the time. They put uh, ATS and Euro Truck on sale. Take exit 340, you will hit our vacation house. You have a vacation house in Germany? Really? 
I wish there was a mod so you could drive on the right side in the UK. No, that wouldn't be very realistic. <laughs> $5, that's a good deal, isn't it? But then there's a crap load of uh, DLCs you gotta spend money on. We do have little beacons on the grill there. So we're kind of running with the tags up because we got a light load, only seven ton. ETS is still, is it still on sale? Well, there you go. If anybody's been ever getting that itch to buy it, it's on sale for $5. I love, I do love Garden Simulator. I think I might stream that on Thursday. You got, you got, you guys, you should see my garden now. My garden looks nothing like it did last time we we uh, streamed it. It is looking legit. It is looking very nice. Very, very nice. For dinner, it was like a, it's like a, I don't even know what it was called, like a salmon patty with cheese melted on top of the salmon patty and mashed potatoes homemade. They were good, very good. Um, what else? What else, Rex? Keep right. And then my and daughter made uh, these fancy chocolate milks with a little whipped cream on top. She was pretty excited about that. All right, I think I need to stay to the left here. buy some DLC. It's also on sale 75% off. Nice. Yeah, good time to snag it. Alright, you're too slow. See ya. Alright, merge on to the big road here. Resume cruise control. Bada bang, bada boom. Looks like we're getting off this exit already, heading Keep towards right. Hanover here. Exit right. uh, everyone, make sure you hit that thumbs up. What's exit up, right. Oregon? How the heck are you, sir? Hope you're doing well there, laddie. Just doing a little European truck driving tonight, eh? I can't remember the last time I played this game. Feels good. Feels very good. With that sunset coming in. About 8.30 p.m. in the game. Oh, I gotta take this exit. Uh, where is your wreck free belt, Frosty? It's on the floor right next to me, just in case I gotta whip it out, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know. We're not doing multiplayer, so there is a good chance I could go wreck free, because I'm not as, you know, I'm not worried about running into anybody. Except the traffic here. Check out this uh, turn signal here. Isn't that cool? Woo! Yeah, she sounds good. No 
what, we'll stay in the right lane. You already sideswiped a truck, did I? All right, then we're not wreck free. I, I wasn't even paying attention. I believe you, trust me, I believe you. But I did not catch the side swipe. I uh, love the turns, isn't that nice? That's a mod. You can get that right off the mod hub. Turn left. All right, we are at our first delivery of the night already. Turn right. Right up the road Turn here. Left. This big old warehouse here. Pretty sweet warehouse, huh? Put our flashers on. Uh, that truck sounds and looks amazing, says Blake. Isn't it nice? I really do like it. What's up, Adam Groves? How are you? Good evening, Mr. Nukestia. Uh, Diane Kurtz, thank you very much for subscribing. Eh? Very nice of you. Right, I gotta figure out where this gets dropped. Back in here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Right there. Door number three. Stinking little European bars they put on the uh, docks. It's like on farm sim. Pain in the booty. I'd say that's quite a lovely delivery right there. Set the parking brake, flashers off, lights off, shutter down, and detach. Uh, this game really looks good in 1080 on YouTube. Is it looking nice? Uh, hi, Big Rig. Just wanted to let you know that I joined your channel, Diane. It's about stinking time. Thank you, Diane. And anybody else, make sure you tell all your Facebook friends that we're not really over there anymore. We're pretty much here. So uh, thank you so much, Diane, for finding us. Uh, nice driving, sir. Well, well, thank you very much. I do appreciate that. It was quite lovely, wasn't it? Yeah, baby. All right, 99 yeah. miles. Beautiful. All right, we're going to look for... We're going to hit continue, actually. I kind of want to drive a load in the dark. Are you guys cool with that? Just one little, maybe a little short, dark delivery. Because the lights, I got a couple mods for uh, the, the lights in the game. It's supposed to look more realistic. So let's see if we can find a decent short load. Uh, yeah, like that's only 109 miles. Take some garlic up to Bremen. Yeah, we'll do that. Do it, sure, a load in the dark. Yes. Can you do a honk or tutti for me? Well, I suppose so. Alright. We are all hooked up, I believe. We just gotta fire this bad boy up. Time to get the job done. Get that window back up. Sorry, Rex. Right about there. 
Alright, and then we just gotta go find our load. Let's get the lights on. Where is the load? I think it's like right next to us somewhere. Is that it right there? Yeah, it's right on my left. Perfect. It's literally right there. If you make it to Berlin tonight, stop and say hi to my brother. He's in Berlin, huh? All right, this load I think is going to be a little heavier, so we'll uh, drop the tag down on the truck. already up. Alright, let's just pull forward just a little bit. Oh, a bad thing. We'll uh, check the back lights on the trailer. Looking good. Blinkers are working. Uh, let's see. Can you do the excavator load? We're going to do this load. I want to do a short one so we're not driving in the dark for too long. Uh, we've got Floyd Statenguy with the gifted Big Rig Frosty Gaming sub to John Keohan. Congratulations to John. Make sure you say thank you to Mr. Floyd Statenguy. And thank you, Floyd, for the gifted membership. Thank you very much, sir. I do appreciate you a lot. Of thank you very much, buddy. All right, we are ready to roll out. Here's our load information right there. We have 12 tons of garlic going to Bremen, to the DHL uh, warehouse. And it pays about 6,700 pounds. Uh, not a bad load, only 109 miles. So not too shabby, right? All right, let's get moving. I love about this game I always tell you guys even at night time you can see like ATS night time it's so dark you can't see anything you can get away with streaming uh, night time on Euro truck it's already 9 o'clock p.m. and you guys can see just fine uh, Wi-Fi broken on my phone so watching on my TV says rep that's all right buddy that's all right whatever works right we are good on fuel. We don't have to worry about that. It's got all this traffic to worry about, I guess. Man, look at them all coming in. Like a party. Off we go. Uh, can you show how to shift a 12 plus 2 versus an 18 speed? I don't know how to do a 12. It just set up. It's set up on my. You just don't have your other gears like instead of. It's like four. It's set up like an 8 speed. One. Not really. It's hard. Yeah, I don't. I, I wouldn't. I'd be the worst one to explain that, sir. I'm sorry. <laughs> probably don't have it set up the way it's supposed to be in real life for the European one. I just know I can't reach out to my normal gears for uh, when I play ATS because it doesn't have as many. It only has 12. I don't need no gas. A little 
bit of oncoming traffic. All right, it should be good. Get out in the hammer lane for a minute. Uh, Dylan Stringer coming in with the New Zealand 899. It says, hauling all that garlic, you won't have to worry about them vampires. You got that right, driver. No vampires for us to worry about. Thank you for the uh, 899 New Zealand Super Chat. Thank you very much. this four-wheeler does. He's going to steer right into me. All right, he waited. Smart. All right, hop onto the big road, and we're smooth sailing. Yeah, that's a good-looking ride. So I'm using, like, this, this realistic lights mod. What do you think? How's it look? Looks pretty darn real, huh? Jeez, Shabby. Say that looks pretty darn sharp. What's up, Jason? It's just look. Yeah, it looks real good. At least on my end, it does. All right. Once I get on a decent straightaway, I'll show you my little lights. We got like custom lights in this truck. We got like the red lights down here on the floor. straight away. I know I'll wreck if I'm not going straight. Uh, there's the little uh, light up Scania logo. Sharp ride, huh? It's like sharp ride right yeah. Looks real good. It's pretty good, isn't it? What's up, Ian Oppenheim? How are you? I like it, says Josh. You wreck. I will not let you down easy. Adam Hank, how are you? Shout out to all the uh, farmers that farm with me. Tomorrow we'll be back on Back County Roads map around 7.30 p.m. I haven't really added anything. I might add a couple tractors, but they'll be from the mod hub, so nothing crazy. But yeah, that'll be tomorrow. Yeah, these lights look really good. Rude. I always farm on Wednesday. Wednesdays and Fridays. Uh, Friday, there is not a football game. So we will be normal time Friday, 7.30. All right, traffic, come on. It's the pedal on the right. Are you not on Facebook anymore? I totally un no, not really. I'll do occasional stuff on there, but for the most part, no. Get our high beams on, just so you guys can see better. Only 47 miles to go. America's got talent. But I'm nice. Let's 
So I use mods just like I do on ATS for uh, this game. All realistic companies. So these are real European truck companies. It's that ICTS. It's too dark, I can't see. Uh, thank you, RBGFF, for becoming a brand new subscriber. a little too slow for me. Speed limit 62 and he was going about 30. Alright, we're smooth sailing now. Once we deliver this load, we'll uh, take a nap and get ourselves back on the daylight shift. How you feeling, uh, Ian Oppenheim, if you're still listening? How's, how's everything feeling? You're walking like a champ now. Yeah, everybody's driving slow on this road. I don't know why. If I had a CB radio. <laughs> telling him what's up. Alright, we're almost where we need to be, Bremen. Alright, highway is opening up. Uh, how was your trip to Ohio? Did you get a lot accomplished for your grandma. I, I got accomplished what she would let me do. She's very stubborn. She doesn't like people helping her too much, but I tried. I tried very hard, but we, we got a whole dresser cleaned out of clothes that used to be my grandma's. Um, some of the stuff in the closet, it's just some old stuff that needed, you know, cleaned out, thrown away, or donated. Other than that, she didn't let me do a whole lot. <laughs> Yeah, she's very stubborn. But we got to just relax and spend quality time together. I'm doing great physical therapy three times a week. I still have a slight limp and some pain, but I should be back to 100% in a couple months. Life has been good. Thanks for asking as always. Good to hear, buddy. Good to hear. Go straight home. Alright, we are in the city, the city of Bremen. <laughs> the city of Bremen is crawling with loads to deliver. I'm still surprised you didn't get the broomstick when you showed up at the door. She was surprised. Well, she hasn't seen me since last Christmas. So she was, she was pretty excited. Or no, I couldn't see her last Christmas. Yeah, I couldn't see her last Christmas because uh, they were they were too sick to have anybody over. Yep, so it was even longer than that. It had been a while. Delivering right up here at DHL, right through the light here. But it was good, Austin. It was good. All right, we just made it in here. That was a short delivery, huh? Not bad. thing lined up. I'm using uh, 
the mod that gets rid of all the symbols, so it's more realistic. So there's the actual painted lines to uh, back into. I like that better. I'm gonna get all the uh, extra axles up on the trailer and the truck. So we're not rubbing all that rubber on the ground, wasting tread. Number two done for the evening. Oh. Not bad, huh? Not bad. Jacob, 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 Jacob. What Jacob do? Jacob nukes ya with the five gifted memberships that deserves a lag bomb. I think it does. That is absolutely very loving and caring with the five gifted memberships. And it looks like Christopher Hanley got a gifted one. 24 Jerky Man, Steve Mace, Adam Small, Jason Schisler, all getting gifted memberships from Jacob Newster with the massive five gifted memberships. Thank you very much, Mr. Newster. You all appreciate it, sir. Thank you very much. Did I? I don't know if I set my brakes or not. All right, we're gonna drop this trailer. And that is load number two. And that was a contract load, 109 miles. All right, let's see here. We're gonna exit out of there. All right, I, I haven't, it's still saying I haven't accomplished any, I must not be doing long enough loads. Uh, what does 200 kilometers equal in miles? Where's my mathematicians in the chat? 200 kilometers. How much does that equal in miles? That's the minimum I can do. We got to find loads to Hanover. I'm not really worried about it, but my first load was a load to Hanover and it didn't seem to count it. Must've been too short. Huge loads is Joe. Interior lights. It's quite lovely, isn't it? Ah, uh, Blake Dotson Shelton. Hey there, buddy. What? I don't see him always late. Tis tisk and wants to commit sea turtle crimes. What are you talking about? Not a math guy. Me neither. Uh, my son and my daughter and my wife, everybody but me, are very good at math. 124 miles. Ooh, yeah. None of our loads were that long. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Let's fast forward time. All right, it's 8 a.m. Flashers off, beacons off. And let's find our next load here. See what we can find. All right, so job market. Let's see if we have all right, there's a load going to Hanover. See, that's not far enough. So yeah, I'm not even gonna worry about those. Uh, we'll just do freight market loads. That way we can drive faster. And we get bigger variety. Oh, there's the big box. Ugh. All right, you guys wanna haul a massive tech part? This thing is stinking huge. I don't even have to ask. I know you want to. All right, let's do it. Ready to roll. I gotta drive five miles to pick it up. All right, off we go. I would never ask that. Uh, anyone want to play Welkers with me, says Wisconsin Farmer. Some Welkers, I, I saw they, uh, they got Welkers fixed and it's back up on the mod hub. I'm sure that made a bunch of people happy. I'll be honest, I got bored. I got bored on Welker. It's just too big and flat. Not a much, not enough like decoration. This is ah, boring. I wanted to like it, but I just didn't. 
Yeah, we did like one stream with it no with uh, the members, and this wasn't failing it, mate. It's a little too big. Uh, 24 Jerky Man coming in with the 4.99. Thank you very much, sir. With the five dollar super chat. He just got gifted a membership. Now he's showing a little love right back. Crowd, take the ride. Thank you very much, 24. Appreciate you, sir. Exit. Put my hammer down to go pick this load up. doing a grain server if you want to join me it's in montana so you pretty much describe the actual place to a t <laughs> pretty boring huh <laughs> i think i need a new save game on my la coronella map if i choose to update it i know that's what i hate about updating maps i saw that they had they put an update for it today right or yesterday or today i think it was today or yesterday Look at the pretty wheat fields. Fresh. Now don't worry, we'll be back to farming tomorrow, guys. Turn left. But the good news is we get to pick up a load at the farm. It's all over. Alright, let's see what we got here. Uh, this truck sounds neat. You like it, Zachary? Me too, man. Thank you, Timmy. I'm glad you enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you. We got uh, John McKinley has been a member for two months. A Jack Whacker level one says, what's up, daddy? Uh, the question is, what's up with you, man? What's up with you, man? I'm still waiting on Iowa Plains to be retested before I play the game again. Oh, really? You're one of those guys. Okay, that's fine. All right, freight market. You guys want me to take the ridiculous load to Trevmunde, Denmark. 19,000 pounds is what it pays. Uh, it weighs 43 tons, so this will by far be the heaviest load of the night. Time to hit the road. Trucks, tanks have been refilled. Look at this bad boy. This thing is huge. Thank you, Pontus Stenberg, becoming a brand new subscriber. Thank you very much. So it's going to be a little longer road to recovery. Oh, for Shawnee. What's up, Shawnee? I didn't, I didn't see your uh, comment. How are I, I? Well, you must not be feeling a hundred percent, but I know you are uh, going through some some uh, physical stuff. Rest well, sir. Rest well. Oh, crap. We have an escort. This is going to be horrible. The maneuver is started by the rear escort by changing and blocking the designated lane. The front escort waits until the designated lane is unoccupied. Then it changes the lane, too. And then it's safe for a player to move into the designated lane. Never mind. Never I'll find a new route. Crap. All right, here we go. Release the parking brake. We are gonna run with our beacons and lights on. There we go. Definitely putting the tag down. This is a 43 ton load. More information on the load right there. The big mechanical part and a big old crate. I can feel the weight already. I guess I don't have that mod activated, so I think we'll be limited to like 37 mile an hour. 
picked up John back in the studio. You gonna be able to farm with us tomorrow, Johnny? You gotta make up for Firesland not being there. Good thing is, we don't have to stop. We get to keep on trucking even, even if it's a red light. load of the night as far as distance heaviest load of the night and widest load I think is huge there's our uh, rear escort back there keep right and then turn right oh crap exit ramp this is going to be crappy. Please keep the cargo between the escort vehicles and try my best, eh? I can't be right up against the railing here. I got quite a load. Turn right. How the heck am I supposed to fit between there? Barely. We're talking precision right there. No room for error. Ooh, that 43 tons killing me. Oh, come on, baby! lost it there. I was a 45 ton. Alright, I think we made it through there alright. Like a boss, I'll tell you what, mate. Like a boss. These, these loads are fun. They require a little bit more patience. You can't just be flying around with these ones. Look at Frosty rowing them gears. I'm trying. <laughs> there was a little grinding in there. It keeps dying when I go into 11th. It seems to only be happy in 10th. There's 10th gear right there. that weighs 45 ton. Uh, give it more power, Captain. I'm trying, Ron. What's up, Dean Thompson? You're doing well there, laddie. We're just hauling a massive hot tub. <clears throat> I'm doing good, Dean. Doing all right. I... I did a hard cleaning of the, the car today, getting it ready for some Uber. And I finally, today they finally got everything approved. Background check finally got approved. So we're ready to uh, haul some people around here towards the end of the week. I just got to get my uh, dash cam. I got a front and rear dash cam. I, I got to get that all set up. Get the wires all hidden and make it look nice and fancy. Yeah, I deep cleansed the car today. I have one of those foaming brushes, so I was just scrubbing all the upholstery and vacuumed it like three different times to get the, the dirt and sand out, all that, you know. It was a little messy. Took a bunch of time, but got her done. All right, why is he going so slow? Holy cow. He's like barely moving. He's barely moving.
Yeah, we're, we're going 38 on it. Oh, that's why. Speed limit's 37. That's why. Just set the cruise at uh, about there. That's <laughs> so slow. <clears throat> Hi, bro. What's up, Zero X4? Matt Lane, how the heck are you? Thanks for tuning in there. Nudge him a little. You don't want to do that. If you nudge him, it says mission failed. Yeah, you, yeah, you don't want to mess with him right there. We want to treat him with respect. About 87 miles left on the trip. Yeah, I'm taking a risk by giving you those fancy views. That truck, though, that thing's sweet, isn't it? Good looking scan, yeah. Ah! See? That was almost really bad. <laughs> I don't know how we just uh, got away with that, but we did. We did. Respect the Renault van. I am sorry, but I cannot. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, skin is pretty short. Very fancy. Uh, how far do you have to go on this trip? Uh, I think you just saw it when I put that screen up. We got about 76 miles. Yep. 45 ton load, pretty heavy, but we're barely moving, so not having any trouble hauling it. Stream's looking good over here, says Austin. Well, thank you, Austin. got a ways, 64 miles. It's a good thing you have good brakes on that truck. You never know if your escort truck is going to make an abrupt stop. I know, and they do out of nowhere for no reason, too. There won't even be anything in front of the escort, and it'll just barely, it almost come to a stop. What's up, Robert Brown? Yeah, we're driving big old sky in you. chilling out here. It's fun. I haven't played this in a long time. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, hit that like button if you want. Uh, I don't know how many we have, but uh, hit the like button if you're enjoying the show. Also, hit that little bell. If you hit the... If you hit the bell, it will uh, give you live notifications. <laughs> Again. An abrupt stop by the AI, the escort. That's why I use the mod to get rid of it. I can't stand these escorts in this game. Man, they're bad. You almost have to learn all the dumb things they're going to do just so you're ready for it. One likes well thank you already broke a hundred and again if anybody was here yesterday wondering why the stream got deleted or wasn't didn't happen I did go live at 730 we played uh, the call of the wild the angler and we were having some issues it was lagging so bad it was almost frozen it was frozen I went back and watched a little bit of it, it was bad so something with that game it just doesn't want me to stream it to you guys so I ended up just deleting the video altogether because it was a hot mess. 
So that's what happened yesterday. But I'm glad things are somewhat back to normal today. Everything seems to be running smooth. All right, here's our exit. Keep right, and then exit right. You could have a big old bonfire when you're done with that packaging. Thanks, huge. Right, we made it. Cruise control on. Let's see how long that works. not go over 37. <laughs> he just will not. That is stubborn. Set the cruise at 36 miles per hour. I remember that, says Devil. Uh, I can't believe you saved that. That's two saves. good. I think here's what happens. This is when I need to be on alert is when there's a vehicle in front of the escort. So like that car, if it gets into the right lane, if it's in a certain range of the escort, it just slams on the brakes. Alright, here's our uh, Travamund exit. And that's where we're headed. It's about 15 miles out. truck nope that's just a SCS truck although I do have a lot of mods for the accessories and all that good stuff what's up Alex Keaton Alex Deaton what's up Alex how you doing today there sir doing a little uh, euro truck tonight what's in the large box uh, right what it says there I don't know like a big mechanical part or something but I think it's a big hot tub. I think we just made it here in one piece. Well, think we made it. Turn right. All right, escort's all done. All we got to do is bring it on in. Escort out of the way. All right, let's see here. Where do they want to escort me? Your route guidance is now finished. We're going to go through here because that's what the truck said to do because we have an oversized load. And park right there. Right. 
right there. Now it's not bad. It's pretty good right there. I'm playing Farm Sim tomorrow, Alex. Maybe that's the part to fix. Facebook gaming says Kellen. What's up, Kellen? Uh, let's see. If you have an escort, won't you run behind schedule? No, they have it timed out for the escort. Like, they time that all in for the delivery. Oh, even the news is here. <laughs> then the news is always there when Frosty arrives. They're like, oh my goodness. The 48-time rec free champ has arrived. Oh my goodness. That's right. All right, set the brakes. Beacon's off. Drop that trailer like it's hot. 145 miles of sweet, beautiful perfection. Nice chunk of money as well. All right, let's see if we got anything else sitting out here. Uh, we are in Trevamunda. I got a hot load going to Hamburg. Well, I reckon we should get it, eh? Would you like to haul some doubles? Yeah, we could haul a little bit of double action here. Haul this big boy, Dry Freighter B-Double. <clears throat> and that is a load of maple syrup, 27 ton. Oh, I like it. Let's yeah, let's this. get that. Greetings from Moscow. I wish you and your loved ones all the best. Well, thank you very much. Right back at you. Right back at you, buddy. All right, so our pickup load is... Don't really know. I thought it was here. Polaris lines. I gotta figure out where the... Uh... Where the uh, pickup marker is. That looked like it was just a rest area. Yeah, that's just a parking lot. Oh, there it is. Right next door. Didn't even see it. Right here. I hate the escorts in ATS and ETS. Yes, they're pretty bad. see here. See if our load's still there. Yep. Oh, they switched up the load on me. That other load expired. So this is a, uh, it's another double load going down to Dortmund, which is a lot longer, 278 miles. That's all right. We'll take it. We shall take it, eh? Loaded up with some big old doubles there. And it's about 5 p.m. in the game, so we might take a little nap. Uh, they're giving us 10... Oh, see, they're only giving us 10 hours to drive. So, yeah, let's get on it. Put the hammer down. We don't have to worry about the speed limit this time. Off we go. Shadow. Hello, George Tack. How was Ohio? It was good. I would spend a lot of time with Granny. It was good. Good time. Good time. I gotta figure out how to get out of here. Alright, make a left. Uh oh. Oh, I'm right up on the fence. <laughs> My bad. Frau. 
What's that? What's that all about? Be able to get out of there. Whew. Had a little trouble there. Uh, what does the inside of that truck look like? Ooh, I almost tipped over, Nick. Uh, one second, let me get straightened up here. I'll show you. Alright, so here's the inside area. There's Rex. And we got our little curtains here for privacy to close up on the doors. We got the Scania curtain, uh, our coffee mug, our aviators. We got some uh, air fresheners, our wallet. Nice little cooler for our drinks. Uh, bedding, pillow, little night light there. Uh, that light glows up at night, looks pretty cool. Yeah, a little skylight. Plenty of storage up top here. Yeah, it's fresh. It's very nice. Good looking ride. Stop by Dingle. My ex-wife lives there. They named the town after her. Oh, stop it, Kev. What's up, John Wagoner? How are ya? We're just setting out. Setting out on, I don't, I've lost track. I think this is our fifth load of the night. Get ready to turn. Raw stock. Fifth load, is it the fifth? Heavy is this thing? Twenty seven ton. Not bad. We'll get the hammer down here. Not bad, not bad. Get ready to turn back. Turn left. Poison ivy is no fun. Oh, no, it's not. I haven't had poison ivy in quite some time, but it is horrible. My son always gets it. He's a redhead, very pale, freckled skin. It seems like any time he goes in the woods for too long, he gets poison ivy. I don't know if that's normal for redheads, but he gets it very easily. I say we put the hammer down, which is sick. Kind of have to if you want to beat the darkness. We'll go about 65. We'll go 62. Right about there. That's a nice, comfortable speed. Poisy. Yeah, I said poisy. Poisy Ivy. Gotta go take care of Diane. Have a splendid evening. Thank you again for subscribing. I do appreciate it. That goes for anybody else. If you want to, you can. You don't have to. I understand. But if you'd like to support the channel by just hitting subscribe. Go straight on. You know, it looks good on paper, I guess. Thank you. <laughs> All right, here's our exit for Hamburg. up 
whiz. Does that truck have a Jake? Yeah, it's super quiet. Uh, European Jake brakes just aren't loud like American ones are. Very, very, uh, yeah. I've been using it all night and you guys can't even tell. It's super quiet. I'm doing good, Nelson. Thanks for stopping in. Got those wiggle wagons. Yes, sir. 27 tons of maple syrup. He's moving down the highway. some vocals right now. <laughs> My spreadsheet for the album is almost filled up, so that means the album is almost done. Yeah. Yeah, baby. <laughs> well, there you go, Johnny. There you go. Viator Vector. Out of Slovenia. The Europeans are so much classier than us. They don't need loud Jake breaks. Nope. They've got a lot more uh, regulations and stuff in their countries. Yeah, it ain't like over here. Well, they're getting pretty strict over here. That's why you don't see much uh, black coal rolling in the sky anymore out of the big trucks. Everything's air quality controlled and def system blue, all that good stuff. Automatic trucks. They're doing everything they can to get rid of the old stuff here. But yeah, it's been much better over there for a long time compared to here as far as pollution. Three. How are you, laddie? area. We're like sipping on fuel. Barely used any. Yeah, we got 122 gallons left. Can't really see anything because the steering wheel's in the way there. But yeah, we got 895 miles left before we would need to refuel. And we're averaging 3.3 miles per gallon for the night. <laughs> Not very good. But we're doing real good now because we're cruising. I think that I think that load the, 40, the 45 ton load Kind of hurt our fuel consumption a little bit. Uh, located three, a member for 15 months. 15 months at Jack Wacker level two. Thank you very much, Daddy. 15 months. No way stations. Mm. No. But I, I can't. I, 
That's a good question. I can't remember. Yeah, I don't think they do the whole way station thing. They do. They have, like, border checks. I think that's when they check all that stuff. I don't know. Good question. I forget. <laughs> I forget. Trying to beat that sun that sunset there. some tacos some tacos yeah we had some weird it wasn't weird it's was just something you don't have very often it's like I don't know, it's like these little ooh, look at that harvester got two harvesters out there working getting that farming done up in there um they're like salmon patties with cheese melted on top with homemade mashed potatoes it was good it was a good dinner it hit the spot perfectly. Uh, Mr. Flores. Thank you. Says, howdy, Frosty. How's the weather been? We're supposed to have beautiful, sunny, high 80s days from now until next Thursday. That, that's as far out as I can see. Zero rain. Just nothing but beautiful weather coming up for over a week. Uh, is your family the type that starts decorating for Halloween right now? Everything is pumpkin spice. Ah, uh, no, but my wife got, she got like the fall decoration started. Not all of it's done, but she started on it. She started switching out the summer stuff for some fall stuff. Thank you for the $5 super chat, Daddy. Thank you very much. Love those turn signals. Three miles to go. We're doing all right. Hey, Frosty, how are you and the family? What's up, Mr. Devin Boney? We're doing quite splendid. Thank you for asking, sir. Sean Briley, hello there. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Whew, this reminds me, I'm, I'm like trying to drive somewhat professional simulated driving here reminds me of before way before i was a streamer like 2013 14 used to play the crap out of this game i was in a virtual trucking company i was in multiple companies i used to love like working for one for a little bit and then switching to a different one because there'd be different types of trucks and paint jobs and yeah, that, that, those were some fun times. You had all your uh, loads logged, and it was cool. But I used to put some miles in on this game. I'm talking big miles. Uh, hi, Frosty. What's up, Ann McPherson? Hello, Ann. Thanks for tuning in, Ann. Hey, family. How are you and the Frosty doing? What's up, Kate? How are you, sir? Just doing a little bit of Euro trucking tonight. Trying to beat the sunset here. Got our pretty little Scania. Look at those beacons on. Just cruising down the big road here. 50 miles to go. Frosty, what trucking company did you drive for in real life? Um, my first ever job was Schneider National because they did paid training. But after that, I worked for a private company up north. Uh, worked for him for a long time. So even if I told you, you would have never heard of it. But he had about 20 to 30 trucks throughout the years. out in 
this lane. I think our exit's coming up soon. We'll just kind of chill out. Or not. It's a little too slow. <laughs> on my TV. Yeah, she's looking good tonight, isn't it? All right, there's our exit. Let's get around this guy real quick. Exit coming up ahead. Get the high beams on so you guys can see a little bit better. tip the truck over when you change lanes. You must not be loaded. I'm loaded. 27 ton. Right. 27 ton, daddy. City Lights uh, mod that supposedly makes the uh, lights on the buildings look more realistic. So let me know what you think about that as we uh, come into the city here. Be there tomorrow, John. Nice. All right. Sounds good. We'll be on uh, back county roads map. I'm too focused on the box on the bottom right of my screen, look immaculate this evening. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right, flashers on. We made it in one piece. All we got to do is line this bad boy up nice. Just like that. Blasters off, beacons off, high beams off, and detach. Two hundred and seventy-eight miles. Pretty much got there right at night time. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, let's see. We are gonna take a nap. Get ourselves out from under here. over by the building. Take a little 10 hour break. Or more. Head 
back in the sleeper. Take a little napsy dapsy. All right, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, Rex. We've got to find us a new load for the day. I have to head out for now. You keep up the good work, Frosty. Talk to you, everyone, later. Have a good day. You too, Oregon. I typed that in the wrong stream. I'm watching some hot tub Twitch stream as well. Sorry, Daddy. I bet. I bet. Uh, good evening, Frosty. What's up, Buck? Clark, how the heck are you, Buck? Hope you're doing well there, sir. Sure, I read everything there. Never thought of that before. Good comment. Oh, Deep Creek, stop sucking up. All right, let's find a new load here. See what dispatch has. I'd like to get something maybe across the pond. See if anything's going. All right, so we're in Dortmund. Let's see if we can find something going to the UK or something. A load to Luxembourg. There's a load to Hanover. That would be big enough for that contract, but I could care less about that. Uh, Le Mans, France. Salzburg, Austria. Eh. That's a cool looking load. Let's haul these uh, forklifts. They're on a weird trailer. Uh, going down to Luxembourg. Time to hit the road. Frosty, how's your grandmother doing? She's doing all right, man. She's doing all right. She can't do a whole lot. I mean, multiple surgeries. She's fought off cancer two different times in her life. Uh, she just had a back surgery. So, yeah, she doesn't get around very well. She, like, creeps around barely moving, but she gets it done. She gets it done. Somehow she's still living by herself, taking care of herself. I don't know how she does it, but she keeps on trekking. Alright, one mile to our pickup. Let's go pick her in. What's up, Van Basky? How you doing, sir? That's a beefy looking uh, fire truck. Dang. That thing had some big old mud bogging wheels on it. I'm good, Frosty. I'm doing good. Just chilling out, playing a little uh, Euro truck. Been a pretty chill, just relaxing stream. Kind of driving like I did back in the day. Safe and secure, you know. Although we have had a couple of, or yeah, we, we rubbed up against a trailer. I didn't even notice I did it. Must have been like right at the beginning. We are finished. But other than that, I don't think we've had any other accidents. All right, let's see what we got here freight market we're gonna take this load right here we'll do the weird looking trailer there yeah we'll do that all right so that's 11 ton forklifts going to Luxembourg Where they got this thing parked? Back here. Little sawmill. Fuel? I've, I've used a quarter tank. We might uh, fuel up on the way out of here. Or during the trip, we might go get some fuel. There's our load there. We got one, two, three, four forklifts. That tag down. Oh, you know what I keep forgetting to do? 
this. I don't have it set up on here. Watch this, guys. I keep forgetting about that. I have it set up on ATS, but not on this one. <clears throat> Keybinds. I keep forgetting you can drop the air in the vehicle. Yeah, look at that. Front suspension up. Suspension down. Rear suspension up. Rear suspension down. Very cool. I don't know why it was on the road, but that is an airport fire truck called an ARFF. Oh, it's pretty sweet. Whatever it was, I like it. All right, here we go. Now it should work. <laughs> That's so cool. Now we be low riding, but that's for like hooking up to stuff like we are right now. Let's do this. Isn't that cool though? I like that. It's the little things. All right, we can lift the uh, back. Uh, having it all the way up gives you the smoothest ride. Pretty cool though. Flashers on the trailer, looking good. Beacons work, but we don't really need beacons. And off we go. showing 128 likes. Well, very nice. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for that. What happened to Buck? Says, thanks all. He's supposed to be a Christmas baby. Uh-oh. Me and my better half are having a baby. Says Buck L. Clark. Ooh. Buck has been busy. And there's a new baby on the horizon. A Christmas baby. Well, congratulations there, Buck. That's awesome, buddy. Good news, good news. Hope everything goes well. It's awesome. Congratulations. All right, there's your load information, ladies and gentlemen. Got 180 miles to go with four forklifts. Get ready to turn right. And they are headed to Luxembourg. LKW Log GMBH is the location. Turn right. actually super relaxing we made some snacks you know just chilled out there's tons of commercial breaks so you can hang out and, you know we were able to chit chat in between it's just nice it's making me get the itch to uh get back into watching a little bit of football make it a family thing like hey make the kids and the wifey maybe well my wife doesn't like football, but she could read a book and sit there and at least be present while the kids and I watch some football and make some good snacks, too. Barbecue. Mm, sounds good. Something with barbecue. <laughs> uh, 
yeah, congrats. Congratulations, man. Awesome, awesome news. All right, this time we're going to cruise around 55, 56. We're not on that super highway now. we got to take it a little easier, a little more traffic in the daytime. Uh, what's up, Darren and GT? What's going on there, GT? I went to a buddy's barbecue today after the fair here in Knoxville, and I've been really nauseous since. Uh-oh. Did he not get the meat cooked good enough? That's the scariest part of eating meat. You never know if it's, like, well done, like, cooked enough. <clears throat> but, yeah, I had a blast watching football. Uh, grandma. Grandma and then uh, Frosty, we watched couple college games on Saturday, three NFL games on Sunday. <laughs> so I got my football in and it got me the itch to uh, get some Madden. I've been wanting to play some Madden too. Ooh, look at that. Got some flammable liquid, say. Eh? I'm wedged between flammables and a food truck. See, you don't see my uh, turn signal there? Yeah, that's right. Recognize. Gosh, trying to come up on my, my left side there. Right, we're already in the intersection, so keep her trucking. I'll be your first game, says Josh. No, I don't I don't play multiplayer on Madden. I'm horrible. You don't want to play multiplayer against me. I mean, you might want to, but you destroy me. I, I just like playing career mode. I love uh, creating the character. Like, I'll create myself as a quarterback and just play the career mode. That's all I play those uh, football. Anytime I play Madden, I not good when I go against a real person. No. It would not be very entertaining. And that's something I'd just play on the side. I wouldn't stream that. You guys do not want to see me play that, trust me. What's up, Michael? How are you? It's a restaurant called Buddy's Barbecue. Mm. You know what I was watching a little bit before I went live tonight? Uh, man vs. Food. <laughs> Man, it looked good. He was uh, he was in the Ozark Mountains. And he was at this uh, Ozark Cafe, I think, is what it's called. But they don't make cafe food. It was good. They made uh, what was called the Volcano Burger and something else. But it like a half a pound burger and then just cheese loaded just covered all over it and then they put a big cover over it and put it on the, the griddle and the cheese just melts everywhere to where it looks like an erupted volcano and you shove it between two buns with all the fixings and it was pretty good looking it got me a little excited i won't lie i like my cheeseburgers you was going to do maintenance around the warehouse the other day. Keep left. Huh? I was going to do maintenance around the warehouse. What are you talking about? I didn't know what you're talking about, laddie. Uh, well, did that better than the Cowboys. Ah, poor Cowboys. I hate seeing people get hurt. Yeah. Dak. He 
she's out for, what, eight weeks, somebody said? That's no fun. That kind of messes everything up for a, a season, for everything you planned hard for. But that's how it goes. You know what? We got construction coming up. We got an exit. Actually, a detour. Got a big accident here. We got a helicopter out there. Life support. We'll just stop and get some fuel anyway. Just stall it out. Yeah, we'll get a little bit of fuel since we're here. Check out what's going on over here. Uh-oh. Ooh, that's a doozy. That was a big accident. Uh, go Rams, go Rams, says Deep Creek. He's used to sitting out for weeks, just usually at the end of the season. Yeah, true. I got sick of Buddy's Barbecue in Corbin, Kentucky. When I eat there, I will never eat there again. I live in London, Kentucky. I've been to London. I've delivered there in real life when I drove a truck. London, Kentucky. Doing there. Oh, yeah. Thing got rear-ended good. All right, we got to get fuel, though. It's more important. <coughs> Excuse me. Big old sneeze. Seventy-two gallons at eight twenty-five a pound for five hundred and ninety-five euros or pounds or euros, whatever it is. Oh look at that traffic jam I started. <laughs> Alright, we're good. Sorry about the hold up traffic. Titans. Oh yeah, you're a Titans fan. One of the only ones that exist. Whew. Pretty sad. Alright, exiting Germany. Say goodbye to Germany and hello to something. to Walmart DC no uh, oh, what the heck was that place it was actually steel coils in a dry van trailer weird uh, never never knew people hauled them in a dry van but yeah we had like steel coils and it went to some random place in London Kentucky yep we used to have to uh, <clears throat> put two by fours front and behind the, they were little coils but they were heavy uh, you, you had to get your is that a does that mean there's a train coming or is that always blinking that must just mean watch out there's trains Dang it. have a fan base yeah that's what i was wondering austin i didn't know there was one anymore the cowboys were the only team in the nfl that didn't score a touchdown this week they didn't score at all ouch 
I got to watch the beginning of that game, and then I had to get to the airport. But, uh... Ouch. There was a lot of good games. Go straight on. A lot of sloppy games. Usually that happens on opening week. A lot of missed field goals. Blocked field goals. I don't know if anybody watched that Bengals game, but they kept missing field goals at the end to win the game in overtime. So that was interesting. And then the uh, Browns won the game by kicking like a 56-yard field goal. Something crazy. Speed limit's 56. And these roads are almost a little rough for that. A little tippage going on out. a Bengals fan was such a frustrating ending. Yeah, because he, he really shanked that one. It was like a 30, I don't know, 36-yard field goal. He shanked it. That would have won the game. He missed it big time. Air France. This guy must be headed to the uh, airport. Got airport deliveries. Busy out there plowing them fields. Almost there, about 20 miles. Our customer expects delivery very soon. Good, because I'm almost there. Is Brandon. Yeah, that was actually a very fun game to watch. Usually, Browns are not very exciting to watch, I'll be honest. They're pretty hard to watch. But that was a good game. That was very good. Wiggle Road. I remember this road coming into Luxembourg. Got all these little curves and bends. Our kicker scored a 57 foot field goal. I know, that was, that was a good one. The Miss is playing your favorite game, Garden Simulator. I love, I'm not even kidding. I was almost going to stream that tonight. Keep left. Then turn left. Uh, my garden's looking stinking awesome right now. And it's going to look even better by the time I stream it. I think I might stream it on Thursday. Okay. I really, really like it. All right, LKW is our delivery right here on the left. Backed in here, come on. That window down. I mean, my video was like 30 some minutes behind, just had to drag it forward. 
Uh, what's up, Michael Godino? I heard my neighbors yelling at one of them games, and they sounded like they were going to, lock, to toss the TV out the window. There was, there was some rough ones. There was some rough ones. Shabby. Ooh, look at the paint job on the LKW. I think they, when they, some of the later recent updates to the game, they overhauled the paint jobs for the in-game companies. Remember how dumb the LKW trailers look? Look how nice those look now. Like, even though it's generic, it still looks pretty sharp. Not bad. They used to look super boring. Unless that's part of a mod I'm using. I don't know. <laughs> that looks good, though. All right. Our load has been delivered. Let's drop the air in the truck. And detach. It's like the Packers versus Bengals last year when both kickers missed three or four. Yeah, that's what it was like. It was just back and forth. <laughs> Like he was going to do maintenance around the warehouse to make another parking lot for empty truck trailers and another booth. Yeah, I did fix a lot of things for uh, tomorrow. I got all those little things fixed for the guys who uh, farm with me and Miss Fireslam. But uh, I had a little list I completed, so it's all ready to roll tomorrow. Uh, Frosty, I never played this game. Well, maybe you should, Chris. It's nice. It's fun. It's actually pretty stinking good. Uh, we got 15,000 euros and 180 miles, 24 gallons of fuel consumed. Let's see if we have any decent load coming out of here. This will probably be the final load coming up. So hopefully you've enjoyed the show up until this point. Yeah, those are way too big see what other loads are available in the area there's a load to Strasbourg Rotterdam Lille France we're going through to Belgium uh, what else what else Lublin yeah it's too far Large tubes going to Rotterdam. Ugh, none of these loads really look that great. Um, I like Rotterdam, though. That used to be one of my favorite places to uh, deliver. Maybe we'll haul some uh, tubes. Time to get the job done. Can't wait to see it. I like the two, says Buck. Frosty, guess what game I have been playing? I'll give you a hint. You used to joke about me playing it. <laughs> used to, I still do. There's no way. Are you playing Fortnite, you crazy mother? Look at the chrome blinging on these rims. Ooh, that looks good. Detach. Man, that truck's really nice. Go. Be. 
what's the furthest possible trip in ETS? I, I don't know. I used to use all the map mods. If you used a ton of map mods, you could go on like a ridiculous journey. Uh, the map is huge. Look at the size. Of, like you can't even look at the whole thing uh, zooming out. So you got the United Kingdom way up here, Aberdeen. Uh, you got way up here in Norway. So I'm thinking maybe Aberdeen all the way over to maybe Istanbul. But yeah, it's it's huge. What the heck is this? What is this place? Have I never explored any of that? Are you kidding me? I use pro mods a lot. Yeah, wow. I still got a lot of exploring to do. <laughs> but yeah, you can go on some really massive trips. What's up, Matthew Gelmez? How are you, laddie? All right, let's confirm our load. Freight market. Uh, there she is. Got a load of pipes. We'll take the blue trailer to match the truck. There we go. There's our load right in front of us. I'm getting them back. I miss them so bad. Instant Mule Turkey. You have a lot in this game, says Matthew. You have a lot in this game. What you talking about? I've got all the DLCs. Is that what you mean? I do have all the DLCs. All right, let's get ourselves drop our axle. Drop our air. Background up. play farm sim on the iPad. There you go. I still need to get this game, says Darren. 5,000 to 6,000 miles, says Stearman. That that would take... I wouldn't... In, I really wouldn't enjoy that. That's too far. Yeah, that's a little too far. Me. I think I got the hiccups. <clears throat> Man, it's a good looking truck. How many times have I said that tonight? That's ah, a good looking truck. It really is. Sharp. All right, there's your load information, ladies and gentlemen. Sit back, relax. We got 22 ton of large tubes going to Rotterdam at the Sand Builders Depot. Pays about 15,000 euros about 211 miles away. Right. Yeah, hiccups are a pain in the booty. I'm sure it's longer with mods too. Oh yeah, if you add like pro mods, whoo, you could go really far. Especially if you have like the Middle Eastern uh, there's the Middle East. You can go like all the way over to Iraq. It's crazy. And then you got all of Iceland. Yeah, you could go on quite the journey. Uh, Frosty, I got a new phone. It's the Z4 Fold. I open the phone, it run into 4K, so the graphics are great. Ooh. Nice. Phones are getting insane, what you can do with phones now. It really is crazy. I still rock my i7. Don't be hating. <laughs> Don't be hating. What's 
up, Albert Pablo? When I get my setup back up, I want to do a really long run, see how long it takes. Hello, Joe Wolf. Chew on some tin foil. I'm not chewing on tin foil. You just want me to get all stuck in my teeth. You want me to have a grill. It ain't happening. <laughs> Chew on tin foil. Who the heck taught you that one? Because they were being funny. They were not telling you the truth. They just wanted to see if you would do it. And you did. Bambuski's <laughs> like, I'll try that. That sounds fun. I have a Galaxy 10s, and it's decent. Oh, yeah, my i7 rocks. Love it. That would cruise at about 60. What about there? All right, we just entered something. It, you, I thought it used to tell you when you entered a country and tell you which one. I don't know. I think we're in Belgium, maybe. Yeah, I think we were pretty close to Belgium. I have the same phone you have, says Brian. It works great. You see Rex? Yes, Rex is riding shotgun. He's been very quiet. He's very relaxed. He's in safe hands. Only one accident tonight. Uh, Nick the bar. Thank you, Nick. Not once, but twice tonight, he's dropped the big old $20 super chat. Huge, huge thank you to Nick the bar. Thank you, Nick. Thank you so much, buddy. When he drops it, he drops it hot. Creek Squad, like a good dog. Yep, he's a good dog. Things are starting to look pretty rough for our uh, our real dog, uh, Muggsy, our oldest one. It's starting to limp real bad. I think his back legs are starting to give out. About 15 years old, he's still chugging along, but it's starting to get a little bit more difficult for him to get around, so I don't know if he's on like that. That downward spiral. I hope not. This truck's been a good, a good truck tonight. We, uh, would we get that fuel mileage up to? Three point four. All right. <laughs> Still not very good. accident tonight. I've been on fire. And it was an accident steerman scene, and I didn't even know I did it, so... I don't even know if that's the truth. But yeah, I probably did hit some earlier on. Other than that, that's the only thing I think I've uh, ran into. I ran over a couple signs, but I don't really count signs. Nice, relaxing night of Euro truck. 15 years old is pretty dang old. It is for a dog, yeah. He's a little dog. Little dogs tend to live longer. You know, they don't have all that weight to carry around and they just last a little longer. But yeah, he's starting to struggle just walking like. He eats. He's, he definitely still has an appetite. They say if your dog's still eating, he's fine. He might have physical issues, but if he's eating, he's not ready to go yet. And he will eat anything you put in front of him. If we're in, I think if we get into... Uh, 
France. We will have some toll roads up ahead. Go straight on. Straight on? Crap. Barely made that. That was close. some toll roads up here so I hit a lot of signs in this game and ATS I bet you have it uh, something tells me I not surprised there Matthew you seem like the type that might run over almost every sign not surprised there driver Euro trucks challenging I'm not even kidding the roads are much more narrow than ATS it takes a lot more uh, Focus to stay in your lane. Yep, definitely on a toll road, you can tell. It's all torn up construction. <laughs> That's a normal toll road for you. Uh, Mr. Steerman coming in with a gifted sub. One gifted membership from Mr. Steerman, and it was gifted to. Mr. Vambuski. Well, how precious. Very nice there. There you go, Mr. Vambuski. You better say thank you, you jacknut. There it is. He says thank you. Thank you, Steerman. Very nice of you, sir. Appreciate you, buddy. All right, we'll set the cruise at 62. it right about there. Uh, it takes a lot uh, more skill on a, uh, ETS. I think it does. It's just everything's more narrow. Even the delivery areas are narrow because in real life in Europe, warehouses aren't like they are here in America. They're very small. Not much room to work with. That's why you see a lot of these trucks that can, you know, spin around on the on the dime. They're made for those tight, compact areas. Man, we're going too fast. Slow down a bit. There we go. That's more my speed. Uh, we got Kevin Flores also coming in with the ten. Dollar super chats. It's Frosty, do you have any pets near you that you would like to show off to the chat? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? No, they're all downstairs with Mama Frosty, probably laying on the couch watching TV. Yeah. Not, not today. What time is it? Yeah, my wife probably got the kids to bed recently, and they're probably all just chilling out on the couch right now which I'm about to do myself. I'm about to wrap this show up. We got 85 miles. Go straight on. Once we get this load delivered, that'll probably be it for tonight. I'll go hang out with Miss Frosty before she passes out. She goes to bed pretty early. How you doing, Jay Bird? Keep that. Thank you, Kevin, Thank you. for the uh, $10 on. super chat. Thank you, sir. Go straight on. What was for dinner? I was like a salmon patty with cheese melted over it with homemade mashed potatoes. Simple, but good. It was very, very good. I enjoyed it. Now, we also got Kevin Flores coming in with the one gifted membership, which went to Buck Clark. Buck Clark receiving a gifted membership. Thank you, Kevin Flores. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, Kevin. Sounds good, simple food. Yeah, it was simple. I was out cleaning the car like deep, like it was almost like a detailing. I was deep cleaning the Kia. I mean, I had the scrubber with the brush, like getting all that old dirt out, vacuumed it like three different times, uh, wiped it down, armor all it, windows, air freshener, everything, the whole works. I was probably doing that for a good two hours, like deep deep cleaning. Getting it ready for some Uber. 
Thank you, Kevin. Better watch it, Jaybird. Knock you out, boy. Smack you. All right, we want to follow those signs for signs for Rotterdam. Amsterdam, Rotterdam. So we're just going to stay left on the E19. And take that all the way to Rotterdam. 50 miles. I guess we don't hit any toll roads. I thought we were going to hit one or two. I'm going to bump that speed down even more. About 56. Cherokee just went by. I feel like I'm a part of the family again. You are, Buck. You never stop being a part of it. Just because you don't have a badge next to your name doesn't mean you're not part of the community. If you're here watching and enjoying the show, I, I consider you part of the show, part of the family, part of the community. How was your part-time? I haven't got to start yet. Today, literally, they accepted the uh, background check. They took their time on that. They're like, who the heck is this guy? They must have had to find out some more information or something. It took like almost two weeks to get back to me. There's the Italian, or no, the French, or no, where am I? Yeah, the French police. coming up here. Oh, yes. Look at that view. Very nice. Yeah, that's pretty. There's a big old bridge there. It's best to buy an interior cleaner. Don't buy armor all anymore. Uh, that's cool. That two regulars got a sub. I know. It is nice. I love it when the regulars get it. <laughs> My wife made dinner. Yeah, you don't want me making dinner. I might get some grilled cheese. That's about it. I, I, I can cook. I just don't like to. I don't enjoy it at all, but I'll do it. If she tells me or wants me to, I'll do it. I'll say, okay. I don't question it. I don't whine. I just do it. But I don't like it. I do not like cooking. But if I have a good uh, recipe, good ingredients, I don't have any trouble. All right, we're coming into Rotterdam, everybody. Which is a little south of Amsterdam. Right along the, the west coast of Germany before you head over to the United Kingdom. Right on the water line. Keep right. And then turn right. That engine brake off. Turn right. Pretty busy port area because it's close to the UK. So a lot of stuff gets shipped out from uh, Rotterdam and Amsterdam. Oh, and I just went right, right past where I had it was supposed to go. So we need to do a little U-turn here. Get ready to turn right. Finding new route. Frosty, I'd use to you Uber full time, did you? Yeah, I've done it before. I haven't done a lot of it. I've got about 45 trips under my belt. I just did it a little bit back, like five years ago. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get back into it. Make a little extra side money.
All right, might as well top off the tank. We get a discount when you fuel up from your own depot. About 39 gallons for 277 euros. Three thousand rides under your belt. Holy smokes! Wow. Yeah, you, you you were doing it full time. Yeah, the first time I did it was very short term. It was in between uh, jobs when I first moved down here to South Carolina. Very short term. But I'm uh, planning on putting some miles in now. Here's where we were supposed to go. Right here at Sand Builders. This is where it ends. This is where it ends. Okay. Weird spot to drop a trailer. I think we're supposed to be the other direction. Means you're lazy not to be mean. Okay. Uh, know some people that door dash on the weekends and they make a good amount. Oh yeah, door dash and there's a. Uh, what's the other one? Grubhub. Are you gonna have your passengers call you Frosty? No. No, they'll just call me by my real name. go. And flashes off. Detach. Do y'all have Instacart? I think so, yeah. I've heard of that. Uber Uber even has a thing where you can go shopping and bring stuff to people's house. I ain't, I ain't doing all that. <laughs> but they do have an option for that as well. If you need to go get someone's order of stuff at the store and bag it up and bring it to them. I ain't messing with that. Bet 90% mispronounce your last name. Yeah. Uh, does anyone call you Frosty at all? No, nobody knows me. You guys know me. I'm not big time. I'm not big time at all. Nobody knows me outside of uh, right here and the people that watch me. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just Joe Schmo out there. Just like most people, you know, just Joe Schmo. Uh, airport is your best rides and pay Mr. Frost. Yep, that's what I did. That's why I didn't have many, like 45 rides. They were mostly all from the airport. So some of them were like hour long drives, which paid real good money. And that's pretty much what I'll be doing again. Hanging out at the airport, taking people home from their flights. All right, continue. Scoot up a little bit. That was a super relaxing stream. I don't know about you guys. That was relaxing. I had a good time. Get those lights off. Shut it down. What do you think, guys? Did you guys enjoy the show? I'm going to a funeral tomorrow for my brother-in-law's father. He did... Ah, I'm sorry to hear that, Matthew. I'm sorry, buddy. You didn't do nothing, Joe? Yes, you did. Ain't about to do anyone shopping. I'll deliver the fast food. I ain't about to carry no grocery. I don't even do the fast food either because I've ran into issues where the couple times I did it, it was a nightmare. The food wasn't ready. I just sat there and waited and waited and waited. And you don't get paid to sit and wait. So, yep, just deliver people back and forth. Uh, Jessica, have a good night. 
Thank you all for hanging out. Hope you guys did enjoy the show. I hope it wasn't too scary for you. Mute this music real quick. There's all our loads we did tonight. Look at that. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, there's all our loads. Uh, what do we do? Six loads. Quite a chunk of money we made there as well. Not too shabby. I reckon it's not bad. Thank you again, guys, for hanging out. Good night, Matthew Gelmas, Austin Wall. Have a good one, Jay Bird. Fire Slime. I sent you this cold message, and we're starting up booba. Just waiting on the background. All right, Daddy. Flies alert. Flies alert. Uh, Jay Bird, have a good one. Uh, all farmers, everybody who normally farms with me, tomorrow, 7.30 p.m. Eastern, right here on YouTube, membership farmers, hop in there with me. Uh, we'll be on the same map we were on last time, the back county roads map. I might add a couple mods, uh, but they'll be right from the mod hub. Super easy for you guys to join tomorrow, and that's if you're a member. I'll have all the information posted sometime tomorrow during the day so you have the password and all the information you need. All right, so we will be firing up the tractors and doing some farming tomorrow, 7.30 p.m. Good night, Zach Ryan. Nick DeBar, thank you for the kind words. Steve Cook, thank you for the kind words as well. John McKinley, after you get her to bed. Let her watch the whole show. Let her live a little. I'm joking. You don't want to have her up that late. Uh, good night, Matthew, and uh, everybody. Thank you so much. Do Ann Baker, peace out. Thanks for helping out. All moderators, thank you. Is Stevenson here tonight? I feel like I haven't seen Stevenson. Maybe he was in here. He doesn't talk much, but he might be here. You'll be there, Matthew. Nice. Plenty of space for everybody. Malachi, good night. Fred Murphy, peace out. Deep Creek, get your butt to bed. See if any of my friends are uh, live. seeing all right guys that'll probably do it for us no stevenson tonight i didn't think so i didn't see him in there all right we're out of here have a good one catch you next time it's big rig frosty gaming i'm over and i am stearman thank you for the gifted sub stearman coming in with the gifted sub there looks like brian santora received that gifted sub Mr. Josh Stearman. Thank you, Mr. Stearman. Very nice of you, Lottie. Thank you very much, sir. And congrats, Mr. Santor. All right, I really am out of here this time. Goodbye. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Everybody have a good day at work tomorrow or whatever you got going on. Have a great day and evening. Goodbye. Stevenson, thank you. So he is here. <laughs> Thank you, Stevenson, for the 179 pounds. Just on here. Oh. All right, we didn't see you. I didn't see you the whole stream. Must have been sneaking in the background. Thank you. Thank you, brother. All right, guys. I, I'm, I'm out of here. I don't know how many times I said that, but I'm serious. I'm really leaving this time. Goodbye. And Merry Christmas. And Happy New Year. And Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>